Hello everybody and welcome to TechLayer. In this short video, I'll explain you what's a virtual box and how to set up a virtual box. So before I explain you what's a virtual box, you need to understand what actually is a virtual machine. So virtual machine is nothing but it's an operating system or an application environment that is installed over the software which imitates a dedicated hardware. And here the end user has the same experience on a virtual machine as they would have on a dedicated hardware. So now, now you know what's a virtual machine, you can understand actually what's a virtual box. So virtual box is nothing but it's that software which imitates a dedicated hardware. So uh, let's see a picture which explains the concept of virtualization or a virtual box. So I have a hardware which contains a CPU of 3 GHz, a memory of 12 GB, and a storage of 300 GB. So, I have a host operating system installed over this hardware, and over it, I can install a virtualization software. So, this virtualization software is nothing but your virtual box. This can be anything like a virtual box or VMware workstation from VMware. So, with the help of this soft virtualization software I can create three different virtual machines I can divide my hardware as CPU of 1 gigahertz memory of 4 GB hard disk of 100 GB so I can create three different virtual machines and I can install three different guest operating systems over it so virtually I'll get three different PCs so this is nothing but actually virtualization and uh, VM, sorry, the Oracle VirtualBox is the virtualization software here. And uh, th th this technique is actually a called as traditional virtualization. Uh, there are some advancement in these techniques nowadays. The host operating system and virtualization layer is removed and you have a hypervisor installed directly over a hardware. And over that hypervisor, you can install, a num you can create number of virtual machines. So these virtual machines uh, will never know that the actual hardware, what is the actual hardware? It directly interacts with the hypervisor, and it it pretty install the guest operating systems and all those things. So now you know what's a virtual box and what's uh, some basic virtualization. Let's go and set up the. Oracle VirtualBox. So this is the website from where you can download Oracle VirtualBox. It was previously owned by Sun Systems. Now it's uh, under Oracle. So VirtualBox is supported on uh, various number of platforms. It's supported on Windows, Linux, Mac, Solaris, and it supports very large number of guest operating systems. Guest operating system means you can install the operating system which you can install over the virtual machine. So you can install pretty much like every every guest operating system over it so let's you can click on this download virtual box and you can download it i'll be installing it over a windows pc so you can download it from here i already have downloaded this so what i'll do is i'll just double click on the executable and i'll follow the on screen instructions and install it click on next leave everything as it is click on next next yes and install when you're prompted for the user account control just press yes and I'll check this as it is and click on finish so once the installation is finished your virtual box manager will open now from here you can create new virtual machines so what you need to do is just you need to click on new or you can click on new and here you can create a virtual machine there are two modes of installation here you need to give the name what you want I'll give it my virtual machine and you can select the type of operating system so I'll show you, uh, in my case, I'll be installing Ubuntu. So I'll select Linux and I'll select the Ubuntu 64-bit version. So if you click next, this is the guided mode, which, which is pretty much simple. You can just follow the on-screen instructions and you can create a virtual machine. Uh, I'll show you how to install it in expert mode. So just click on expert mode. 
type your virtual machine name select the operating system select whichever operating system you want now you can select the size of RAM which you want to allocate to this virtual machine once you select the RAM you can leave these options as it is and click on create so now the file this this is the file location and this is the name of the file what you want so this will be nothing but all your files related to this virtual machine will be saved at with this name and on this location so you can change this location I'll leave this as it is uh, this is the hard disk allocation you can increase this decrease this as per your requirements uh, I'll leave this as it is leave the virtual box disk image hard disk type as virtual box disk image and the storage is dynamically allocated and click on create so now your virtual machine hardware is set up <clears throat> now you need a media to install it you can it can be anything in in my case it's an Ubuntu in your case it could be a Windows system or some another system Linux Red Hat anything so what you need to do is just click on this storage you can go to the storage from clicking right clicking and going to the settings from here or you can go to the storage direct clicking so just click on this empty disk and in the right side choose virtual disk file so you can choose the virtual disk file so I'll choose my Ubuntu 64 bit click on open and click on OK so I've added the installation disk and now you can go and start the virtual machine so here you can see the Ubuntu installation screen has been started so this is how you set up a virtual machine now I'm, I'm not gonna install Ubuntu here I will just explaining you how to set it up so I'll, I'll close this installation and one more important step once your installation operating system installation is complete you can go to storage once again and you need to select the disk and you need to remove this disk from virtual drive and click on OK because if you don't remove this whenever you restart it will boot from this disk and start the installation instead of your system so this is what VirtualBox is this is how you set up VirtualBox uh, and I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing if you have any queries related to the video please feel free to comment on the video if you like the video please give it a thumbs up please subscribe my channel for the latest tips and tutorials on virtualization Linux Oracle Android and much more stuff related to technology. Once again, thanks for watching.